Welcome back guys. I was teaching y'all how to make a shared re reference as free cycle view. So this is the part 2 of that video for that tutorial and today I'll be teaching y'all how to make the recycle view in this video in this session. First thing let's go to my main.java again and here inside the on click of the save I forgot to give the give a toast and a start activity for our application so here I'll have a toast and press tab and give the app get application context as the context and the message will be saved and next thing I'll copy this from here and paste it here like this next thing we'll have we'll be having a main activity and a main activity xml file inside the main activity xml file we'll declare recycle view like this like here like in here inside the main main xml file the width will be match parent and height will be also match parent and the context will be dot main activity and next inside the, the re, we the inside we'll have the recycle view as android support v7 widget recycle view and here we'll call this the id list view give the id list view to this and we'll have the height and width and margin start top end and bottom will be all 8 db and we have have, have given constraint to, to the recycle view as well so this will be the recycle view and the main activity main xml for the main activity file all right let's get started with the main activity java next in the next step all right we'll go to our main activity here and first we'll declare private recycle view as recycle view and next thing we'll have a private array list with the type users as user underscore list and next thing I'll have the private static final string called SP key which will be equal to user underscore list underscore sp like this and next I'll declare private shared preferences shared preferences and next thing inside set content view I'll have our user list initialized with new array list like this and next the recycler view will be equal to find view by id r dot id dot list view and share preferences will be equal to preference manager dot get default share preferences and we'll pass our sp key here and pass null now for the context we say get share preferences dot get string preference, preference manager dot get share get share get share preferences and I pass the this context to it. Next thing, I'll make a string JSON string, which will be equal to share preferences dot get string, and I'll pass as P key to this, and and the context as not like this. 
and the next thing I'll have JSON JSON made equals to new JSON and after that I'll say type token type token equal new type token and I'll provide the array list users to this array list of type users and I'll close this from here like this next thing we say array list users user list local equal to json dot from json and I pass the json string inside this and say type token dot get type like this before declaring the recycle view we will make a new class after all this we will have a class called class user view holder extends recycler view dot view holder and I'll close this from here and next thing because we are getting error we must press on the red bulb and say create constructor matching super like this and inside this first thing we'll have a public we'll have the three text views public text view id public public text view name and public text view marks and inside the user view holder method I say id equal view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot user id and next thing for the name I say equal to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot user name and next thing the marks will be equal to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot user marks like this next thing we will make another class called user view adapter and extends it to recycler view dot adapter like this and next when the error comes we press the red button and say implement methods and the three methods on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count will be implemented like this next thing inside the user view adapter first we'll have a private array list of type users called user list made and I'll have a public user view adapter constructor made for array list users called user list and inside this I'll say this dot user list equal to user list like this and the next thing inside the onbind view, view holder onbind view holder we'll have a layout inflator layout inflator equal to layout inflator dot from 
view group view holder dot get context actually we'll do this we'll cut this and go here and paste this and we'll say view group dot get context and we'll make a view called view which will be equal to layout inflator dot inflate and we'll provide r dot layout dot one item view as the layout and we say view group dot false we will pass the view group and say false as the attached to root we will give false next thing we will return new user view holder and we will provide the view inside of it and the next thing we will have finer users you inside the onbind view holder and this will be equal to user list dot get and I provide the i of the entire in the onbind view holder and next thing I say final user view holder called user view holder equals to view holder and because we are getting an error here we can cast this to user view holder like this and next thing we say user view holder dot id dot set text as u dot get id likewise we will say user view holder dot name dot set text u dot get name and another one will be user view holder dot marks dot set text will be u dot get marks like this finally in the in the public in get item count method we'll return user list dot size like this now for a quick recap I I told you how to make a user view adapter and a user view holder. We made two classes class user view holder and class user view adapter. We extended recycle view to will view holder for the user view holder class and we provide a double layout for the user view holder that has the ID name and marks which was made here in the one item view xml file so after that i have added the id's name and marks of the item view inside our one item view and next thing i made a user view adapter which extends recycler view dot adapter and inside i implemented three classes three methods recycler view dot view holder on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count then I coded all three of the inside all three of the methods and finally we got up till here. Now let's go to the onCreate and finish this. Finish what we started. First we'll have a linear layout manager after the array list, user list local and it will be called linear layout manager and it will be equal to new linear layout manager and I'll pass get application context to it. The next thing I say recycler view dot set layout manager and give the linear layout manager to it. And finally I say recycler view dot set adapter set 
get adapter and pass new user view adapter and pass the user list local array list to it all right now all of our code has been written and now it's time to run this and check the output we we'll press on the run button and we'll wait till this builds up all right now what you see here is the application that we built so far we have id provider name provider and a mark provider and there's a go and a save button let's type an id here and we say 12 and the name will be kulesh kulesh uchiha and marks will be 67 and I press save. Let's see what happens when we press save. Oh wow. This is what we see. This is the recycler view where we made our ID, name and marks. This is what we built so far. We, we can add items to our recycler view just like this. Let's add another ID and a name and a mark. We say ID 78. And name will be Cal layer and marks will be 89 and let's press save and we can see that that also got added to our recycler view let's add another one let's say 45 as the ID and name will be name will be semi-air and marks will be 34 and let's press save and we can see that we can add as many items as we want for our recycler view in this android application we can use the go button to go to the recycler view page and that's how this app functions so this is the final application and that i wanted to show you throughout these tutorials and I'll be teaching you all share preferences as a separate lesson after this this lesson in another time and today's lesson is this and it's over now and I'll see you in another video another time until then goodbye guys and please take care